take those. This is a test of a a new camera mount that's also the next step of the the model. Wherever I go I get covered in sawdust. Okay. So the next part calls for the construction of the figurehead, which is all metal. Just calling up my pictorial instructions. Right. So it seems everything is in this one metal box. I hope you can see what I'm doing. That's the whole idea to put this new camera mount up. Because I noticed from my videos that uh, a lot of the times you're looking at my elbows or the backs of my hands. Which really doesn't leave much to show you. So, the box is always well packed, isn't it? Did you know you can take these boxes and slide them together? And make them stick. I've got another one with a couple of. Yeah, have to get my right around. Slots on one side. Look at that. And there they are joined together. Yeah. Clever, isn't it? The thing is, you go with enough of these ship kits, you get. Nice little collection of these boxes. Yeah, a piece of solid tape holding it. Don't know why they use this almost invisible tape. You get it. Oh, that's a bit down each side as well, but it looks good. Yep. It's always super sticky tape as well until you want it to stick and then it doesn't stick. Right, that one I'll leave on so that we can at least hinge the box, I hope. There we go. Keep the lid on. So, let's find the bits of... Uh, this angel. Well, that's the head. Yep. Which means that's the body. That's the torso. I don't think that sends it to the figure head. This looks like the legs, I would say. Yep, they're the legs. I'll leave them in the box for now. There's the arm, which I think is going to hold a shield. What always makes me laugh with these things, they give you little sort of shapes. And if you can see in the center of that triangle, there's a, there's a little shape which is supposed to match up with that hole in the end of that arm. Now, if that shape and that hole are the same, I'm going to do the same. 
sniff it. That's the first time I've seen that. What's that piece? I don't know what that is. It's going to be another arm. There's another arm in here somewhere with a sword. Find that when we come to it. Hope I've got the right shield because that's a shield as well. That needs more like the right shield for that. Right. Okay. I'm going to try and find an arm with a sword. I looked for it yesterday and I thought I saw it. Okay, we'll find it when we come to it. A bit to go before then. can do with these for the time being. Nah. The thing you've got to do with these is take all the the moulding uh, ridges off. I sometimes use my uh, grinding wheel to do that. There's only a couple of little marks to be taken off. So. Quite soft metal, I wonder what it is, I wonder if it's lead. Could be. Gonna fit in there. Looks like there's a bit of flashing in there as well. Quite easy to take off as you can see. Here's a good little file. It'll come off. No, that goes in there, and then they say to use some filler around the, the slot, and then I wonder what is the front and the back that way. There we are. That's that's the shape of what we want. So, here we go with this Ayano.
Maybe not. Just need a great deal. I think what we'll do is um, spray some activator in here. Magic stuff, like the way spray. You have to be careful with it and use it. You know, I say in a well ventilated area. I don't have a well ventilated area. But there you go. That is stuck. And I will put that into the repeat process. And just like that, they're joined. Now, I'm going to put some, wait for it to set a little bit, put some putty around that gap on the neck, which is what they show in the instructions. I don't think it really needs it, but it'll make it look better, especially when we come to paint it. Yeah, well, I'll try and find. These are the pieces.
Es cuenta, pero me vi. Oh, yeah. That's the shoulders. <laughs> and once again. Make sure I get the right way around. I don't want to put the arms on yet, so I've fitted up those gaps. So I've got to find yourself the arm. Was there all the time. There it is. The arm of the sword. Now, which shield is which? I think it just is a round shield. I think it's the bigger one. Maybe not. Yeah, it's a smaller shield. So it's this one. There's his legs. Yeah, what is still up to find? This is wings. What do you think guys, is that the wings? Looks like it. Got everything in one box, which is good.
but as far as assembly goes that's as much as I'm doing today I am off to see a show put that back in the box so I don't uh, lose it now I'm going to go and check this video to make sure it recorded okay and that you can still see everything I'm doing need this to set you'll be filled roughed and painted tomorrow um, there's a little technique to painting metal which they don't show you in the pictorial instructions but um, well I'll go through it with you tomorrow that's the only problem you get is with using this uh, activator you end up with marks but they, it comes off okay Have a good Saturday if you're following the rugby. Hope your team wins. Hope my team wins. And I'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back, guys. Okay. Had a good night out. Saw a good show. Now, they say to use some filler around the neck. But then in their pictures, they don't do anything. But I've got some of this uh, model filler. It doesn't need an awful lot. So, let me see. I'll probably put it on with my knife. See the point. Touch it was up, but there is. You both have got. Round it on. If I'm not get the wing slot. How do you get into the <coughs> Okay? Well, she's not going to be able to see around the back. Oh, it's back to the ship. Okay, let's let that set for a minute while I sort out some of these other bits. I think we found all the parts yesterday. I had a quick look at the video to make sure that you can see what's going on. That means seems to be a lot better angle than it was when we threw in the ship okay let's let that set and we'll come back to it yeah it doesn't take long for this to set I've got so many cables on the floor now but um, I try to pull my chair in and uh, end up getting stuck on the cables okay let's um Use a very small file for this. The smallest one I have is this one. I think I want to rub it off before it really gets too set in. Need to maintain all the contours.
if you've ever painted metal before you should uh, you would know that you need to prime it well and one thing before you prime is to make sure it's clean so what I shall do when this uh, when I'm ready to put some paint on it I will give first to give it a coat of primer But before we give it a coat of primer, I'm saying first I give it a coat of primer. Um, before we give it a coat of primer, I will. Yes, keyed. Isn't it funny? Identical wings, but the keyed. Smaller spot. Okay. Yeah, before I prime it, I'll wash it down with um, denatured alcohol. Left foot, the right foot. They sort of over there, didn't they? So, first I need to find something I can hold it with while I'm painting it that doesn't need to be used again. So that Stand up there like that. But my luck is I clamp this in the vice and he'll fall off the end. And you have to sell your Latina paint set. All the paints have a number. Um, lo and behold, number 61. Is gold. Make this paint in gold and then you um, patinate it and you patinate it um, by taking this dark red leather colour and mixing it with water. In other words, you wash it. Um, These tubes, you're supposed to be able to squeeze them and get paint out. Unfortunately, they're not squeezing. Just put some paint into the bottom here, that should probably be enough. Should be more than enough to do one little figurehead. Be it an angel or a fighting angel or whatever. Yeah, guys, as I said, a few seconds for you. About an hour it took me. I don't know if you can see that there. Four cannon ports and a rudder port. And I've tested it for fit. And I've got to cover this, of course. And there we go, fits perfectly, lines up with everything. So I'm looking, it's because I have a gap there. I might have to take a, a slight smidge in it to allow for the hinges, but I think, no, I think that's okay. Okay, I'll go for a little break now, have some lunch, and when I come back, I'll be doing the covering on this rudder. Uh, much fun see you soon right we're back let's put some light on the table so we can see what we're doing basically this is the rudder 
has to be lined up and down both sides not up and down right for it that way so what do is just cut them a little bit big and we can trim them down right and I'm going to use white glue for this I'm going to get fed up using cyano all the time I'll lay it down flat and I'll have to keep squeezing the glue down from the bottom of the two bolts side. I'm using all these little bits that I've cut off already. Another bit here. I'll use that further up when I've got a bit more, a bit more leeway. That's looking great. You're right, guys. Got the uh, rudder done. I trimmed off first side before I started on the second side. Um, you can see the glue still setting. Um, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. Tomorrow we start on the. Uh, rubbing strikes which would be fun and the ship should start to look a little bit more like a ship okay if you like what you see like click on the like a bit obvious really if you want to follow along on this adventure consider subscribing um when you subscribe you'll see a little bell comes up if you click on the bell you'll be notified when any new videos are put up which in my case is normally Monday and Thursday evenings. Um, okay, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. Let me know in the comments if you don't, or if you do. See you later, guys.